Welcome back to the afterlife, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Because I am having a wonderful day. It's a snow day. I just got done shoveling uh, our driveways and our neighbor's driveways and the sidewalk and the street that we live on. It was quite fun. Uh, we haven't had snow like this in a thousand days. Uh, where I live, we don't get a lot of snow typically. But when we do, it's uh, it's a pretty big event. and And it's... It's quite a lot. I think we've ended up with probably about six to 10 inches, uh, about 20 some odd centimeters plus there of snow. And now it's kind of raining a little bit, which is nice. So after shoveling all of the sidewalks and, and all that stuff, it's just kind of washing it off and clearing it. However, we're about to go into a big deep freeze for a week. And it's supposed to be uh, minus six Celsius uh, for a good part of the time during the night. So we're gonna have to make sure we get some salt down and do that stuff. So, I did a little bit of exploring the other day. This is where the Christmas Village, I think, is going to be. Uh, we are planning on doing something pretty cool, so make sure you watch everybody's channels for those who are participating in building it. Uh, I'm going to be doing some gingerbread houses, and uh, we should be doing a bunch of collaborations with the guys, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Blonde Skunk is currently laying or designing the paths, and then once he's got those, once he's got those down, I think we'll be able to start building. So the work's been divided up amongst the members, and I'm excited to see what people are gonna do. So I've been jumping back and forth. I hate doing that. I shouldn't do that. It's a bad habit. It's because I'm talking. I'm trying to do something, but it makes people dizzy, which I got a comment on from a really old video, and I have to agree that that is the case. So, anyways. What I'd like to do today, uh, I can sleep, absolutely, Daniel, here you go, buddy. Uh, and uh, I need to take care of some odd jobs. You know, we've started quite a lot of projects and we haven't really finished a ton of them. And so I was thinking today we'd uh, probably sort out the entrance to our crash cave. Hey, no problem, bud. Uh, and uh, we'll get, you know, this ghetto, ghetto exit here sealed up. And uh, we've also got the kind of a, a minimum, about, we got a little bit of vote. <laughs> Desert Star Neighbors and I, yes they are, yes, yes they are. Uh, so yeah, I was figured we finish up the floor in here, that would kind of put a bow on it. Uh, probably figure out what this design is going to be here. Also, I'd like to close in this area and start, or at least prep it for, for like our armor stands and our equipment room and a place to put our spare gear, uh, which is what I intended this area to be. And also there's supposed to be a secret entrance over here as well. So uh, I'm going to get started on that and then I'm going to bring you guys back once I've got a few ideas fleshed out. I'm going to head off to a creative world right now. I'm going to get some ideas going, get the juices flowing now that I'm back inside and it's nice and warm and toasty. Anyways, I will see you in a few minutes. All right, first status update. I've polished up the floors. Looking good, all consistent now. I'm really happy with that. Also, we've gone ahead and decorated. Ooh, free block. We've gone ahead and decorated the backside here to the portal. I like it, it's like kind of like a tunnel effect. I'm not too sure about the lighting in here, actually. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, zero, zero, eight, uh, nine, I think we'll be okay because there's slavages. Hey, what's going on here? Why is there... We have one single missing stair. Get in there. Now, I can't remember. Do mobs spawn on stairs? I don't think so. So I think we should be safe except for right here. But that says light of 10. So anyways, worst case scenario, we toss a couple little bits of glowstone up there. And we'll call it uh, done. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating out this hallway. I'm uh, gonna get it set up. Probably, yeah, probably be consistent in its design to the rest. Hey, I hear it raining. You know, it didn't rain for the first month I've been on the server, and then all of a sudden it started raining, and it rains every day now. I think, uh, <laughs> I think weather clear has finally officially stopped. I don't think I can actually get the tree to grow there, believe it or not. I think it needs to only be in this one for some reason. Okay, let's see if we can get to grow. Come on, give me an acacia wood tree, please. Thanks. Anytime now. Oh, we're already out of bone meal. Okay, this is it. That's it. So much for that. Okay, well, we'll let that grow on its own. In the meantime, we're going to uh, clear this away. I actually should... No, I'm going to leave the top. I won't backfill in above here. There's a big open air block. Don't worry about that. But on this side, we'll go ahead and uh, fix this. Also, I've done dug this tunnel, which is... 
another kind of secret planned route to seaside, but I don't know if I'm ultimately going to do anything with that, so we'll just leave it for now. Anyways, there's a Swiss cheese of tunnels down below. Okay, let me get cracking on this, and then we'll bring you guys back in, a, in what's going to be a zoom, a switch for you guys in a few minutes for me. Okay, we're back again. Oh, and <laughs> this is the next update. It's actually the next day. I've been so busy. Oh yeah, real life has been uh, really actually affecting my ability to record the last couple days. I had a bunch of volunteering to do for the scouts, which was amazing, and uh, had a lot of fun doing some tree selling. So, but yeah, anyways, uh, I did do some work. I just didn't get a chance to actually record much of it because I had to do it on my laptop. And uh, so I've already shown you this area, but check this out, guys. Look at this. Yeah, oh yeah, isn't that nice? Isn't that really cool? So I've made this area, kind of sectioned out these areas for different things we're gonna do. I, what? Spider? I hear a spider. <laughs> uh, for uh, different different things we need to do, like, there better not be a hole in the wall. I'm, I'm hoping that's above us. Okay, I think so. I think it's burning above us. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, what we can do is we can do our armor equipment stands and things like that, weapons and other things that, uh, like, say, Ender Pearl distribution system, anything that's utilitarian will be able to fit into these little cubby holes. So I'm pretty happy with that. Very simple design, just kind of continuing with the theme that we've had so far. And then, of course, we'll just left this blank just to flesh it out. Uh, then over here, this is kind of pretty cool. I, I hear a spider. He's up there, I know he is. Anyways, this is pretty cool. So we kind of go up here, and this was the entrance I was talking about. And it's kind of working. Let's see here if I can actually do it without suffocating. Go, 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 jump! Whoo, it's fast. There he is. I thought I heard a spider. Get wrecked, spider face. Oh, there's a creeper too. Well, you can just suck on a bow. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> So yeah, I've got some redstone uh, going on here. It's still, it's a little touchy. So we push this button over here. This will open up and we can fall down. And then of course we got a kind of a two-way button system with a little bit of delay so you can get up, but it's fast. And I need to make, I want to say it's a pulse extender. I'm not that sure if that's the right terminology, but I want to hold this open for a little while longer so the player doesn't risk getting suffocated. So that being said, I think the last kind of touch that we need to do is really hide the fact that there's these pistons here, right? And so what I was thinking of doing uh, is probably, I was thinking of putting, making rocks on top of here. Yeah, thank you, give me that back. So I was, I've got a few bits of materials here. We're gonna try a few things out. So let's just say that, hey, did I just not put, oh, sad face. Sad face. Okay, so if I was to put a rock here, let's say we put it right there, and then I just put something there, and then I just put something there. Yeah, so there'd be a bit of a gap there. I could do that. I'm not sure how I feel about that though. It comes a little obvious that that's a rock of sorts. Now I guess I could actually make this. Do we have an andesite? We have smooth stone, that'll work. Also, andesite will work as well. Let's try this out. If we put this on here like so. Oh, that looks a bit better. It's unfortunate we have to have this extra bit here. Um, it definitely looks deliberate. If we break this though, maybe we put some cobble in there. That That's not bad. I guess we could, we could conceivably pull this in all the way like that that that's a thing that could be a thing and if we brought this back like that then we could probably get away with a rock here this and like so and then again same thing here we could bring an andesite block or a schmoo stone block like that in that's kind of cool and then of course we've got uh our sticky piston here, but you know what would be kind of cool is maybe if that was an andesite block. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's check this out. Let's see what it looks like. Boop. Let's hit it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, I like that. I like that. And then I don't think we have any bone blocks on our bar, but we could definitely go get some. Let's go do that right now. 
right here. Oh crap, gotta go fast, otherwise we suffocate, and that's a bit of a problem. Uh, it's not perfect, like I said. So let's grab some bone blocks real quick, or actually what I'm really after is bone meal. So let's see here. Uh, wrong chest, that one has a bit. I think we'll probably want to grab, oh wait, I think I stashed some, in I stashed those. I thought I stashed some bone blocks in the wrong spot. Or maybe not. Maybe I did. Huh. Okay. Well, let's grab some from here then. Don't need too many. Oh boy. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What to get rid of? We need all of the stuff. So, let's see here. Let's actually drop these off. We don't need those right now. Okay. So let's go back up and we can grab ourselves a little bit of a leafage. And I'm going to put the fences back. I got to still put the acacia pillar in. Hello, hello. Get up there. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're primed and ready to go. Ha ha. Take that. Gotta be fast. Maybe that's, maybe we'll leave that. So people who come in who aren't quick enough might to die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that evil enough for you guys? Uh, okay. I do have some leaves. Uh, let's put in some leafages. Let's see. Feel... Okay, where do we come out? We come out there. So that's cool. We could do that. Is this... Yeah, it's acceptable to have these kind of leaves here. I'll leave that open. But we could do this here. And we could do that. And up here, they're using a slightly different texture. They're not using the oak leaves. That's okay. I feel like maybe a little bit down here would be kind of nice. That... Got to be careful. Leafs, le foliage, leafage, roughage can be a little overpowering when used too much. So like that. And actually, that's a good opportunity to get some of this going. Make another rock right there. Oh, yeah. And let's break this for a sec. Uh, let's break this. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to fix that. Uh, we need, I was thinking it would be good if it was a stone, but we're also going to need to get this back in, and I don't even know if I can. Put the torch in! There we go! Done. Sold! And then I can just pillar up here. There you go, Bob's your uncle. And we can put the button back down again, and that's going to be a little bit more hidden, a little bit more conspicuous. Also, pull that off. Do I have an andesite block left? I should. I do. There we go. And toss that in like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like that. So you come over here, make a jump, and then you'll fall down there. Boom. Nice. Very nice. Hopefully that turns to grass. And what else? Oh, yes. So now we got the bone meal. Let's get some bone meal action going on. And let's, uh, let's get a little bit of color here. I'm not a big fan of the yellow flowers. I'll leave that. Get some of this. I like the white. This will help a little bit. Yeah. It's just to kind of... I think we want to skip the tall grass, though. Okay. Yeah, so that feels a little bit more natural. And it's kind of a bit more conspicuous. People wouldn't necessarily think there was something over there. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Yeah. Actually, I like that a lot. That's going to work out just great. So yeah, anyways guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. My whole goal today was basically to get the entrance done. That way we can actually just stop using the, the service entrance, if you will. Uh, we can actually fill that right back up again. And we will no longer need to, to uh, come in the back way. Uh, even though we can leave it there just in case something happens. It's not a big deal. Um, but now we have our actual super secret entrance to our super secret crash cave. Which is fantastic, and nobody watches my videos, so nobody's going to know where it is. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, guys, if you like this video, make sure to bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button. As always, I'd love to hear your comments in the down below. Let me know what you think. My name is Crash, and I'm out.